Hello everybody, uh, in this video I will show you how you can make uh, analyze of sloped surface. Uh, I found this question on laser scanning forum. Somebody uh, wants to analyze the formation of tennis court, but this tennis court is actually sloped. This part is higher than this one. Uh, so this guy, this guy want to find uh, if this tennis court have deformation some, somewhere between this part. Uh, this task can be done with cloud compare. I will be use another point cloud, but uh, is pretty uh, similar. It's actually a football field, uh, and for calculation deformation of this uh, football field, you need to set a reference plane that will be used for uh, uh, calculation. Uh, you can uh, set this reference plane in your software, in AutoCAD, in Cyclone, or whichever. But you can actually can make this which cloud compare to. Uh, just select your cloud, go to plugins, and use Ranzak shape detection tools. Uh, here you need to set uh, right settings uh, because you need to find uh, only one plane that will be uh, light on, on this area. So uh, just that uh, maximum uh, uh, number of points that you'll be using for calculation this reference pa plane. My uh, point cloud have 40 million points so I will use a half of these points. Maybe you can use uh, more and that uh, a distance from reference, maximum distance from reference planes to points. So another points that is far away will be not using during calculation. Okay, I need to set there five millions. Press OK. Wait a minute. Um, okay, cloud compare has calculator reference plane. Uh, you can see it here, and uh, Cloud Compare has uh, actually cropped my point cloud to uh, my reference plane. Now just select uh, this uh, plane and my point cloud, and that calculate cloud to mesh distance. Wait a minute, play, press Compute, and press OK. Now let's turn off our reference plane select our point cloud and paint its point cloud accordingly to cloud to or reference plane distance from 1 to minus 1 centimeters and now we can see uh, our deformation of our field actually we can turn off a scalar field and now we can see where deformation is that this part is more than one centimeters and this one is less maybe it's because our reference plane wa was that not perfectly but we actually can see that we have deformation here and here so it's pretty good tools for analyzing deformation so um, that's all if you have any other questions please write me